on everyone and welcome to another video. It is my favorite time of the year and that's summertime. The winds are calming down a little bit, the water is warming up, and the fishing for one of my favorite species is definitely heating up. That species is snook. The fish are really starting to feed and in today's video my goal was to catch a really nice overslot snook on some light tackle. Light tackle for me at least. Let's dive in. Started the day out on the beach with my good buddy Ryan. He is a fellow YouTuber and Jetty Rat, and honestly, I think he might even like snook fishing more than I do. We're gonna fish this croaker here. Take him, hook him through the nose with a little circle hook. Come here, buddy. I know you're angry with me. Pushing some lighter leader, 30 pound leader right now because we're on the beach, so if you hook something, it doesn't really have anywhere to go to break you off. That way you can size down and maybe entice some bites. I am fishing flatlined. I got no weight. Ryan has a weight on his, so we'll see who can get bit. Within 30 minutes, however, of fishing on the beach, it became pretty evident that it wasn't happening. That sunrise bite, it just wasn't gonna happen on that day. So we packed it all up and we headed over to the inlet to fish the pier on the north side. All right, moved over to the inlet fishing off the pier here got a live pilchard we got to find some fish so when I'm fishing these pilchards we got the tide going out so it's coming from my right to my left and I'm kind of just walking with the tide my bait's not gonna sit in one spot it's too strong to just like put it on the bottom and I want that natural presentation. So I'm just casting out and walking with the bait, allowing it to look like it's getting swept out by the current. These fish are gonna be sitting with their heads into the current, you know, if my fingertips are their mouths, facing like that, looking for baits to get swept out. Got him on. On the live pilchard. Ryan! What do we got here? Not too big. Nice little snook. Yeah. Yep. Nice nah, little. Yes, sir. Let's just make sure no gets yeah, that's what I was thinking. Here, I'll come. You're good. You're good. You don't need your big camera for that one, do you? Nah. That ain't worthy enough. Broke the ice, though. Yep, on a little pilch. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah. yeah, out of season now too. Out of season. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful, healthy little guy. Nice little underslot snook. They're out of season now, but just beautiful little fish. Super fun on light gear like this. Just really, really pretty clean fish. Really, really pretty clean fish. Love seeing how they look this time of year. Day looked like it was gonna be pretty good. Right off the bat, caught a little snook on a live pilchard and the conditions looked pretty darn good. Then everything shut off. 
really no bites at all. I dropped down all my tackle, little hooks, 30 pound leader. I just wanted to get a bite. We got a croaker out on bottom right here. Just lost a snook, just my line randomly broke. I'm not fishing tight drag or anything. Stripped off like 20 yards of line before I retied, put a new leader on, new hook, new bait. Now he's kind of on the bottom freaking out, feeling like he's getting chased around. Should be, a, as far as we can tell, there's a big school of snook on the bottom here. See if we can get picked up again. Whoa. Whoa. Is that a grouper chasing it? Yep. That's a big boil. <laughs> yeah, that boil was way too big for <laughs> that just to be the snook. You see how fast that snook stayed on top? Yeah. Like, he did not Came go back straight down. up to the top. You getting eat? Yeah. Go, Ryan. Go, Ryan. Yes, there we dude. go. That's a fish. Good job. We're filming, right? Woo! We are on, boys and girls. God, Reel a little bit, just slowly. Just and now stop reeling. There you are. Take your time. Nice big snook. Yes, sir. Nice big snook. Come on now. I'm taking my time Woo. right now. Bad luck. Come on, Ryan. Take your time now. Yeah. Fish these guys kind of light. Fishing 30 pound leader. Got circle hooks, but oh, Snook just tried those mullet right there. Let's go real light on him. It's a nice big fish. Angry too. He's got those big head shakes. Come on, on in. It's been kind of a grind so far today, fighting these, or getting these fish to eat. They really haven't been wanting to do much of anything. Pick a rod tip up. You don't want them right here. Keep the head on, that's all you want. Oh, that's why. Mm. That's why. Well, he frayed me. Oh, he did? Yeah. Was it red or? That's a snook. Finally, I got the bite that I wanted. And as you guys just saw, I lost that fish. And man, you know, sometimes you just get bored and you really, really want to get a bite. But man, oh man, I hate losing fish like that. It's super, super frustrating for me. And I, you guys could probably hear it in my voice in that clip. I hate losing fish. Even that, that I was fishing super light drag super light circle hook so it should have really got him in the corner of the mouth but fortunately it didn't and sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles no nah, he's way too big oh yeah watch he'll come up he'll gain about a couple inches all right got it all right all right yeah he got you on the only one way to learn that's right mm -hmm. sink or swim Yeah, pick it up, pick it up. Pick there it you up. go. You got him, man. Do it, do it, do it. There's the workout now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> been going to the gym. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Perfecto. Perfecto. <laughs> You up, Long skinny one. Ryan, you tight? Yeah, he is. He's the man right here. Mommy, vente, suelta la foto, suelta la aire, leave it there, leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. My yeah. man Ryan, hooked up on a snook right now. What's your YouTube channel? Real Angler Adventures. I got that flashing on the screen. You guys go check out my man Ryan if you like jetty fishing, you like pier fishing, stuff like this. He fishes places like this all the time, so show him some love. I'm a second home, basically. <laughs> I'm here way too much. 
again, I got a fucking... No, you're good. You're good. Screw the phone, dude. It's small. Nice little fun size one. Dude, he worked. Dude. I think he was getting chased by a grouper. Very possible. That's probably... Yeah, that's a fun size one. Heck yeah. Dude, dude. Oh, I thought the hook just came out. No. Yes, sir. All right. Whoa! Good catch. That was excellent. Actually... Dude, yo! He's way too green. My man Ryan. A little small one. Nice snook. Let's get some more bigger ones. Yeah, for sure. Ow, that freaking hurt. So this is my combo of choice for the day. Saltus MQ 5000, 20 pound braid on an eight foot Shimano Talavera rod. It's like a medium heavy action, kind of light for me. Now some of y'all might think this is a massive setup. A lot of you West Coast boys may think this is a really heavy setup. But for a guy like me that grew up fishing piers where snook either stay under the pier or immediately go for the pilings, I'm used to fishing some heavy stuff. I'm used to fishing stuff like this Vanstall 200, 40 pound braid, extra heavy action rod, something like this, and just stomping fish, 80 pound leader. But for today's video, I wanted to catch some fish on lighter gear and the fish here lately have been a little bit finicky. So you gotta drop down your leader in the first place to even get bites. So that's why I wanted to use this. 20 pound braid, 40 pound leader, 3-0 circle hook, and really have to work for these fish once I do hook them. After Ryan and a couple other gentlemen caught some snook, the storms really started to roll in. That's just a part of summertime. Sometimes you get nasty thunderstorms. I decided to pack it up and call it a day. Come back out today and catch some more fish. So day two, I came out to the jetty. I came out here on the pier and I was fishing solo. Ryan had to work today, so it was just me. I went to my local tackle shop, picked up a dozen croakers, and y'all, the day did not start out great. Immediately when I got here, I look in my bucket and there's five croakers just floating out of the dozen that I bought. I think the bucket that I used, me or one of my roommates used it to like wash their truck or something. I think there was some soap in there because the water smelled a little soapy to me. And uh, I immediately changed the water, but I lost about half my baits right off the bat. So <laughs> not a great start to the day. Didn't really seem like there was a whole lot going on, but I was pretty determined at this point. So beefed up my tackle just a little bit, some 40 pound leader, some 3-0 circle hooks as opposed to 2 O's, and I started throwing croakers out around the school of snook. Today the water was clear enough that I could actually physically see the school, so I just started to put my croaker right on the edges of the school where I think the fish are most likely to eat. There we go. Nice fish. Picked up the croaker. See what we got going on here. Oh, aggressive. Probably. Let's go, buddy. Right through all that mass of seaweed. Pick up all that snot. I'm gonna go underneath you. Hang on. Yeah, drop your rod. Think so. Let's see. Oh, you bitch. Being that this is a public fishing place, there is a lot of dead old fishing line 
that's stuck on these rocks and a lot of snags and areas that you can get tangled in. So I just uh, dropped a little profanity oh, yeah, here <laughs> and that's because I felt this snook swim around a deadline. It's a specific feeling that after a couple years of fishing you'd understand. But I can feel my line rubbing on another line that is down tangled in the rocks. So at this point I loosen up the drag significantly because if I put extra tension my line's guaranteed to break. So what I'm hoping at this point is that the fish will tire out enough that he'll come back through the deadline and somehow get untangled. There's a lot of luck that has to go into this, but there's no way I'm landing the fish if I fish him with tight drag at this point. So I have to fish it loose, fight the fish loose, and just hope that I get lucky. Come on. This is annoying. I can literally feel the deadline. I don't know what he went through, y'all, but he went through something. Yeah, he's on a deadline. He's going real light, real easy. Maybe I'll get lucky. Well, he was right down there and then he hauled ass. Come on, buddy. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Come on. Nice and easy. Come on, bud. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, he looked pretty big. Oh no, he's on the man. I'm off. Oh, manta rig. Off Get that dad, off. whatever it is. Coming around. There we go. Drop the net. That would have been a keeper. <laughs> nice, thank you, sir. Nice, healthy overslot. He's over. Yeah. It's a lot smaller down there. <laughs> heavy, fat nice, too. heavy, fat fish. Looks like the one I had this morning. <laughs> That was a lot of work for an overslot snook, y'all. <laughs> he went up into some deadline. Absolutely got me in a bunch of stuff, but we played him really, really light. Got him out. Pretty stoked. Happy with that. That was two days of work for that one <laughs> overslot fish. But man, all right. Nice Let's time. let her go. starts to float out a little bit, I start giving her nudges. Quick shout out to the fam over at Navils Apparel. They just dropped their summer collection. That's this bamboo hoodie that I'm wearing. It's one of the new colors. Super comfortable, super light. Go ahead and check them out. I got a link in the description and code Ryan20 will save you 20%. Pescado Grande? Uh, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Oh, man. You found the school of jacks. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that's a bite. 
<laughs> oh my god. Big bites. All sorts of chaos going on out here. Oh! oh. Hey man, that's a weird looking permit you got there. <laughs> it's the skinniest permit I've ever seen. Does that mean I get to keep them? I think so. <laughs> there we go. Nice fish on. Choke the croaker. Fish is angry. Angry, angry, angry Hello? snook. Yeah. Woo hoo! Love that sound. Love that sound. Yeah. Love to see it. Try and keep these fish high in the water column. And keep them up high. Oh, angry fish. Make sure you um go. Oh man, getting bit getting bites. Nah, you're underneath me. Yeah, just just chill. Reel it tight a little bit. Alright. It's a great piece of seaweed holding us together. <laughs> you got it? Hey, yeah. Come here. Real, 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 real. Nope, that's not it. Oh, yeah. well, we're together now. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Right, you gotta get it. Yeah. Yeah. That's annoying. Of course, I feel it. These fish are great at finding deadlines, man. Nah, it's a snack. This is exactly what happened with the last one. You get tangled with one person, and then yeah. the fish just goes into a deadline. It was just a pissed off fish. I hooked him over there. He ate it, started running towards me. Come on now. It's amazing how they find that, dude. Come on, you stupid thing. Come on. This was a very interesting scenario because the fish, again, found a deadline, you know, just kind of due to the fact that we got a little tangled and the fish was able to get a weird angle and get into a deadline. However, when you're fighting snook, Typically, when they're around something like this, you can coax them back to you. And in the heat of the moment, I really didn't realize this, but so looking annoying. at this footage again and thinking back to the fight, I think this fish got eaten by a goliath grouper. And that's because I could not stop him. I had already put a decent amount of fight into this fish, and he should have been pretty tired. And even though he's around a rock and I'm fighting him on very loose drag, I should have been able to turn the fish at least and get him back towards me and at least give me a fighting chance. But this thing would not stop. So I really Man, think Goliath Grouper ate turn this snook, around. which is unfortunate, but it's just something that happens. And then you'll see here in a minute how this ends. So dumb. Yo, I don't know if I've ever work so hard for an overslot snook in the summer before <laughs> honestly as a kid i would catch four or five of them that big um it seemed like in a day <laughs> but some days fishing's just tough some days your luck just isn't with you and uh it's just difficult you know um these fish fishing around this structure fishing around the rocks it's inevitable you're gonna get tangled with people you're gonna get snagged on rocks and you're gonna lose fish especially when you want to do it on light gear like i'm doing so it's just a challenge and you know you're never 
gonna land every single fish that you catch and that's just something that you gotta deal with. Got a snook on, he just came up and jumped. Didn't even realize I had him. Nice, this is my last bait of the day. Hopefully we get this fish in. It's a nice one, nice one for sure. Last bait of the day. I've had a lot of cutoffs today. I swear there's like barracudas that are like swimming through my line or mackerel or something like that. So that's how I lost when there are a lot of baits. A couple baits died on their own because I think there was something in my bucket. But uh, yeah, come on, man. Last bait. Yep. Wouldn't you guys be able to run down there and ask one of those guys for a net? Could you run down there and ask one of those guys for a net? Could you run down there and ask one of those guys for a net? I think they might see me. What is it? Is it a It's a snook. Um, left. Nice. Thanks, brother. Last bait. Nice healthy one. Nice healthy fish. I love this time of year. They fight really, really good and the fish are healthy, spunky. Catch them on light tackle like this, just a load of fun. This fish ate so fast and just came to the surface and jumped. I didn't even know I had him on. It happened so fast, but we got him. A lot of lost fish today, but uh, we got this one finally. I'm gonna drop him back in the net. It's cool. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Again, huge thank you to Power Swabs for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys are interested, it's the first link in the description. And if you guys are looking for more awesome pier fishing content, do me a huge favor and check out this video right here. And I'll see you guys over there.